Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. And what we wanna do is grab these two pieces here, as well as these two pieces here that have little tabs on them. Okay, so you can see that we have tabs here. And the construction of this made it pretty easy. Um, this is gonna be the side where the little handles are. Okay, and it's gonna curve in this way and then it's gonna curve back out this way. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of round. It's gonna go like this. And let me fold this over just to give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. So it's gonna be kind of like that, okay? And <clears throat> we've made this so that the process is pretty easy. What you wanna do is let's begin by folding over all of our little teeth here Okay, so we're gonna fold all of the little teeth here over like this, okay? And I think what might be helpful, and the way that we're gonna assemble this actually is the teeth are gonna go on the outside of this piece here. And then once we're done, we're gonna have a panel that's gonna cover up the teeth, okay? It just makes the construction a little bit easier, actually a lot easier, and it also makes the piece more sturdy. Now, before we do that though, I wanna go ahead and just kinda of train the bottom a little bit just so that it flares out a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this piece here, just a little bit, just so that we're not fighting with it, okay? So we just wanted to kinda of train it just a tiny little bit. This is a, a 3 8 inch dowel that I just used to do that, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and, and I'm actually going to put this piece flat down on my table and we're gonna kind of just kind of sandwich it in there. And I think the best place to start is gonna be on this piece right here. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of glue right on this tab. And you know what, at this point, because we're gonna be covering all this up, um, obviously you wanna be careful, but don't over concern yourself with perfection at this point. You definitely wanna make sure that you're being accurate, but don't, don't worry too much about like glue and stuff like that. Just get enough glue so that it sticks. But if you get too much, don't, don't feel bad about it because we're not overly concerned about it right now. We're gonna be covering all this up and we just wanna make sure that everything looks good. So I started with that tab there because it's flat and straight and then everything else pretty much will line up as you can see here, okay? so. We're gonna be putting glue on all these little tabs here and just getting them glued into place. So what you can do, if you're comfortable, is, and if you wanna to try to do this quickly, just put a little dot on each of these little teeth, just like that, okay? And pull that out a little bit more so you can get these two little teeth here. Okay, and just slide that under. And just make sure that it's nice and flush up here. And just run, push with your hand, push in here, and then push down with this finger to get this piece to stick. Okay, give that a few seconds. And that is what it should look like. Now, if you've got a few little tabs here or there that didn't stick, you can just go in and clean them up. Again, don't be, don't be um, obsessed with worrying about getting the glue perfect because we're gonna be covering this up. So that was actually really simple. I was able to do all these in like one shot. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back here. I'm actually gonna, I'll do it in this angle here so you can see. I'm curling this back to expose the teeth and I'm just gonna get glue on each little tooth Okay, and we're gonna stick that underneath, just like we did the first time on the top half. And I'm gonna push in with my hand. My right hand is pushing in while this finger is pushing down on those tabs to get them in place and to get them to hold. Okay, so that is good. Now this last one here, you wanna be patient with that and make sure that you really give it time to really grip. Okay, so that looks good. And we've still got one little stray tab here that just doesn't want to cooperate. So we'll just give them an extra, a little bit of extra love. 
and get that down. Okay. And then we can go ahead and fold all these tabs over just to kind of get them ready. So we're going to do the same thing with the other side here in a second. And then when we close this up, we've got one more panel that we're going to glue to this. So, so that side was pretty easy. We're going to grab the other side here and get it nice and folded. Get the score lines nice and folded. And again, I want to go ahead and train this out just a tiny little bit on both sides just so that we're not fighting with it, like I mentioned before. And then go ahead and fold the tabs over. Okay. All right, so again, with this one here, I'm gonna start by gluing this large tab right in the center and just popping it right in there. Just making sure that that's nice and flush and lined up. Kind of wiggle it back and forth and push it in. Just make sure that you've got that alignment perfect. All right, so we've got that tab in place. And just like we did the first time, I'm gonna fold this back to expose all those little teeth here. And we're just gonna put one little drop of glue, one little dot on each little tooth. Okay, and we can just stick that right underneath. Make sure you get them all under. And again, I'm pushing, I'm taking this hand and I'm pushing in while running my finger down on these here. And again, don't worry too much about the glue. Okay, there we go. So that's what that should look like. So we just did those like really quick, okay? And I would probably be a little more patient and allow that glue to set before you move on to these teeth here. But I'm gonna go ahead and continue on here to save time. And we're putting one little drop on each little tooth, putting it underneath and I'm pushing in right here as I push down on the teeth. And the teeth are underneath this piece here. Okay. So there we go. And again, this bottom one here, there's a lot of resistance there. So hold that for an extra few seconds just to make sure that it really stays in place before you move on. Okay, so we've got about three quarters of this thing put together. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this piece with the little tab at the bottom, and we're just gonna pop it in here, okay? And we're gonna do exactly the same thing we did before, except this time, you may not be able to see it as well, but I'm gonna show it to you this way, okay? So we're gonna put, we're gonna put glue on the bottom side of this, this little tab here, I'm gonna pull this up, and we're gonna sandwich that right inside there. Okay, just make sure that you've got it nice and lined up and give that a few seconds to hold. And probably is a good idea to put this down on your surface. I didn't wanna do that because it's a little difficult to see. I'll try to flip these tabs up so you can kind of see in there. But Again, I mean, that's all, we're just doing the same thing, except this time it's gonna be a little bit more difficult because we've got this piece kind of in the way, um, but it's still pretty easy. Okay, so once we got that piece in place, we can bring these teeth up, and I'm just gonna put them like this so you can see. And all we're doing is just, again, putting little dots on each of the teeth One dot is plenty. Okay. And then I can fold them over. And I'm going to put this flat on my surface. But what we want to do is we want to glue these down, just like we did the first time. So I'm going to put this down. And as you can see here, I'm sliding, sliding these teeth under. And I'm pushing in against this bottom part while I'm pushing down with my finger here to get that to stick. And again, don't worry if you make a, a gluey mess because we're gonna be covering all of this up here in a little bit with multiple panels, in fact. 
So don't worry too much if it's not perfect. And again, we've got a couple stray tabs here that I just didn't get enough glue on. Okay, so I'm gonna fix those up, put that back on my table and just push down and just be patient while it sets. Okay. And again, I got some glue here, but it doesn't really matter. Try not to get any glue on the sides here, but even then, um, that's gonna be covered up with a panel, so I'm not overly concerned about it. So at this point, we can go ahead and get these teeth ready. Okay, and we're gonna put just a little drop of glue, a little dot on each of these teeth. And you can flip this over, fold those teeth under. You can see those teeth there. They're gonna go underneath this piece here. There you go, you kind of see that. And then I'm pushing in from the outside and pushing down on the inside to get that to stick nicely. Okay, and remember that little corner piece there. We've got to be a little patient with that while it sets. Okay, so there we go. And that's what that side should look like there. Okay, so all that's left to do then is to close this thing up. We're just repeating that same process again and again starting in the middle. This is a really good anchor point because it's kind of, it's like a little puzzle piece. It only fits one way. Okay, so let's get that right in there. And I'm gonna flip this over so I can use my table to kind of help me. Okay, so we've got that tab in place. Now, just like we did before, I'm gonna flip that down. You see all those teeth there? They all get a little dot, just like that. It's okay if you get a little extra. It's just gonna make sure that this thing like really holds. Fold these down like halfway, and then put this down on your table. Just make sure that those teeth are going under. Push from the outside, push in from the outside and down with your finger here on the inside to get that to stick. Just kind of run your finger along that curve. And there you go. And take a peek here, make sure that all of them are down. Got one little one that didn't want to stay very well. It's being a rebel. Okay, and last but not least, let me just finish up these few little tabs at the bottom here. Okay, tuck those in halfway, put it down on your table. Make sure that they're under. And again, pushing in from the outside and pushing down with my finger on the inside. And hold that last little tab there in the corner for a few extra seconds so that it holds. Okay, and there we go. So our structure is complete. And what we can do at this point, <clears throat> what we can go ahead and do at this point to really sturdy this piece up is put our bottom on. Okay, now there's two pieces like this. One has a tiny little L one has a tiny little L in the corner. Let me move this out of the way so you can see it. There's that little L there. This is the one that goes right on the bottom. This one goes on the inside. And that's the little liner piece and that's gonna, it's gonna make our bottom a lot more stable. So pick, pick one long side. Okay, get a good line of glue on there and then work a little bit out to the edge. And then we're gonna take that and work that glue out all the way to the edge so that we can make it nice and seamless. And go ahead and pop that on, get it nice and centered, nice and flush, nice and centered, right up to the edge. Just kind of push down right along the edge there, make sure that it's got its initial hold, and then you can put it down and use your finger on the inside to push that down even more and get it into place, okay? So that looks pretty good. We can always go in and clean that up if we need to, if we don't like the results. But so far, it looks good. OK, 
Okay. And then we can go ahead and close this up now. So a nice line in the middle and then one out to the edge on all three sides that are left here. Okay, and then I am going to flatten that glue out and get it out all the way to the edge. So we get a nice clean seam. Okay, lift these up a tiny little bit. So as you're pushing down, it grabs more of that surface area. Okay, and just make sure that you've got it nice and centered all the way around. Run your finger along the edges to kind of help push that down into place. There we go. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so we've got our bottom. And now with the liner piece here, what you want to go ahead and do is just take a little bit of glue and put some glue on the little tabs inside. It doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as there's a little bit of glue in there. And then just stick that in there. You're going to have to kind of bend it to get it in. And then just push it down. And that's going to create a nice sturdy little base for us. Okay, so we've got that in there. That polishes it off and makes it look clean. All right, now at this point, what we have to do is we have to put our little panels on the front. Okay, so, and you can see what I meant by don't worry about, you know, the mess or, or whatever, because this is going to go over this perfectly and it's going to clean it up for us. But now before we do that, we have some vellum pieces that are going to go right on here. Okay, and we're going to sandwich that in there. Okay, so we're going to glue that down in just a second here, and then we're going to put this piece right over it. Okay, and that's going to it's going to make for a really cool illuminated effect. Um, and then when we're done, we've got one more little panel piece that goes right on there. So, okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our vellum and we're going to get that glued in place. And we basically want to just center this as well as we can, just ensuring that all these little cutouts are covered. Okay, so I'm going to begin by just going very easy with the glue here, pretty much around the perimeter of the designs, and then probably just do some dots throughout the rest of the design. I don't want, uh, I don't want big fat lines of glue because they kind of dry quicker. If you do the little dots, they tend to kind of keep themselves wet longer before setting and then also they don't warp the paper as much either. So we'll get that on there. Just make sure that that's all nice and covered. And once it's semi in place, you can put it down on your table and just push down. And I'm actually going to, yeah, I think that's good. It doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as it sticks. And then we can go ahead and put our little panel on. And now with this, we do want to be um, pretty precise. So I'm going to go ahead and put a nice line all the way around the perimeter and I am going to work this out with my finger out to the edge and I just know that because this is a large piece that we are going to have to do some cleanup work on this. And I'm just putting little dots inside here. Make sure you're not getting dots where the cutouts are. You want to make sure that those are nice and free and clear <clears throat> of any glue. Okay. And this stuff here, I'm going to work that out to the edge so we can get a nice, tight, clean seam. Okay. Just like that. Just like that. Clean off my finger. And we'll go ahead and place this down. Now, of course, there is going to be an, another panel that goes on top of all this. So do your best to get it perfectly aligned, but don't freak out if it doesn't go perfectly. And I am just running my finger along the perimeter here just to make sure that that all sits nicely. And then you can go ahead and clean off any excess glue that kind of bled out. Okay, get that off of there. And I will show you here in just a minute what we can do to clean this up even more and make it really perfect. Okay, 
So I'm putting this back on my table here. I'm just kind of pushing down to flatten all this out. If you have a little dowel, you can kind of run that along the paper, flatten that out. That's really kind of making some additional glue pop out there, which is okay. I want it to be nice and compact. Okay, so that looks good. Take a look here. I've got a little excess glue that I'm just going to rub off. No big deal. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, I did a lot better job on this side than I did on this side. As you can see, this side's kind of coming up a little bit. So, what we do is grab just a scrap piece of paper. I have an old little ink pad. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this. Okay, and I'm grabbing my razor blade here. You can use a little spatula. If you want to designate a spatula for this task, um, that's probably a good idea. And I'm just going to go ahead and with my razor blade, I'm going to get a little extra glue inside that little crevice and just push and hold that down to close that up nicely. Okay, see how much nicer that looks now. And just be patient while that really sets. Okay, and you can see the difference here as opposed to here. This was a bad glue job on my part. But again, um, it's a lot of real estate to cover quickly. And, you know, the glue dries pretty quick. So don't, don't think that you should be able to get that all set in one shot. It might take a little bit of extra effort to just kind of clean that up and close those seams nicely. And it doesn't take much extra glue to get that to hold because there's all, there's still glue in there holding it we just didn't get it all the way out to the to the edge but you can see the difference there that looks a lot better okay so i'm just going to keep going up here and finish that off with a little extra glue in these little crevices here i'm going to work my way down here a little bit okay i'm just going to push that down and just hold that down in place until it really sets. And I have a beautiful clean seam. It's going to make it look like it's all one solid piece. And then you still have this little area here, right there, as you can see, that I want to clean up because I like things nice and perfect. And it's okay if you make a mistake initially because you can go in and fix it after the fact. Now this is going to require that you have a really clean razor blade or a really clean spatula because it is kind of uh, it is a little tight little area and it's okay if you get a little glue that smears out as long as it doesn't get a chance to fully set you can rub it off just like that like that there we go and just hold that down and let that really get a good hold there we go so now we've got a nice clean seam there i to continue holding that down for an extra second. And that's pretty much it, okay? So the next thing, you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to put your um, vellum on, just like we did. Then you're going to glue this piece on, just like we did on the other side. Absolutely no difference at all, okay? So once we have this in place, you can go ahead and grab our panel, and we're going to glue our panel down right on there okay okay so both of these panels for each side they're they're identical they're all symmetrical now what i want to do is i'm going to go ahead and ink that a little bit with a nice turquoise color just to give it a little extra something okay and i've got my my tim holtz um, alcohol ink applicator felt and I don't think this is alcohol ink, but I really like the way that this works. It works really well for me. It gives me just the right coverage. And I like that I can bend it and shape it however I want so that I can get into um, some really tight little crevices. Okay, so I'm just going to work around this paper. This paper is actually kind of glossy. So... I don't think it's going to hold the ink as well as, say, like an AC cardstock, but it's still going to give it a little bit of something. 
and you can see the little gradient effect there. It's just very gentle, very subtle. And it looks like we had a little cutout that wasn't weeded. There we go. So I'm just working my way around this panel here, adding a little, little ink to it just to kind of touch it up and jazz it up a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and apply that to the front of our project. Then we can work on the sides and then the cover. Get a little more on there. And this is blending pretty well. I mean, you probably probably don't notice it that much, but again, I've said this before, uh, it's kind of like makeup. Sometimes less is more. Not that I wear makeup, but. So I've heard. It's like you really don't want to know. Don't want people to know you're wearing it, but you want it on there. Okay, so again, very subtle. I use the turquoise color on this green, and that's just going to kind of make it a little more dimensional, interesting. And that's going to get glued right on there, okay? So let's go ahead and flip this over. <clears throat> go ahead and flip this over, and let's get some glue on this piece here. Just very gentle with this. You don't want big blobs. Try to get some glue out to the edge. Okay. Work that glue up the base here. And this paper, it's not very porous, like your AC cardstock, because it's a pattern, and it's kind of very smooth and white on the back. So I can actually go even lighter with this glue, because I don't need to worry about all the little fibers absorbing it and drying it out really quickly. So that's kind of a benefit to using these sorts of pattern papers. Okay, so we just want to get that perfectly aligned with the little cutouts so that we don't obscure or obstruct them, I should say. And I'm just going to push that down. And where did that come from? Looks like we got a little extra glue here. Oh, that came from over there. So you got to be careful with your glues. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so our panel is on. And you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of some potential hazards here. Just move them out of the way. And I'm going to flip that over, get a clean side here so I don't go messing up my project. Okay. And uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we have, um, we do have some little pieces here that are going to get glued down here, a little accent piece. Okay, so that's going to go there. And we also have a dragonfly, and that's going to get glued there, just like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our glue on here. And again, you're going to repeat this on the other side. Now, I believe that we have included an extras version of this where there's only one side in case you don't want the design on both sides. I don't remember if we included that or not, but I'm pretty sure we did. I'll have to double check. So that's helpful if you don't want the pattern on both sides. But I say you may as well do it on both sides because it's really pretty. So no matter what side you look at it, you're going to see it. Okay, so that's where that goes. And then we're going to take our dragonfly and get glue. Now I'm just going to dot the glue on this. Again, because there's a lot of tiny little details here, but definitely try to make sure that you're getting stuff out to the edges. Okay, get a little tiny bit on his little hands there. They kind of look like aliens a little bit, don't they? I think so. Insects are pretty creepy. And beautiful. But definitely creepy. I'm just glad I live where I live because there are places in the United States where there are some things that I could not tolerate. 
Like I remember I was down in uh, Arkansas one year on a fishing trip with my family and they had the biggest spiders down there and I was just like so freaked out. They had big old fat bodies. They just give you nightmares. Okay, so that's where that goes. Again, you just wanna make sure that you're not obstructing those cutouts. You're getting it nice and centered. Okay, just push that down into place. Okay, and there you go. So again, on the other side here, you're gonna do the same thing. You got vellum, you got your panel, or well, your uh, main structural piece, I should say. Then you've got your panel, and then again, this guy goes here, and then this guy goes here. So same thing we did on the other side, but you're just doing it twice on the other side. Okay, so that's what that should look like. So far, so good, real good. Okay, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the sides here. Okay, so we have panels for each side. Now there are two, one for each side, obviously. And again, these are gonna curl just like the main structure did. Okay, so let me move these razor blades out of here. We do wanna take and train these slightly, again, just so they're not fighting with us. Give them a, a little bit of a curve, just like that. Not too much, don't wanna crease it or dent it. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna start by gluing the center in place, this middle part. It's, again, it's our nice little anchor part. It's gonna ensure that the top and the bottom go together nicely. So I'm just gonna smear that out Get it nice and flat so it covers more area and plus it'll dry a lot quicker. Just kind of shove it right in the middle there. Make sure you get it nice and centered. And then you know that it's centered because these little holes up here will not be obstructed. Okay, you don't want to obstruct the holes. So get that nice and centered, just like that. Just make sure that those holes are not obstructed. Okay, and give that a few seconds to dry. And then you can peel this back and get a little bit of glue on this panel here. I went a little crazy with the glue there. Smear that out. Okay, and there we go. Let's get that right on there. All right, so once that bottom part is in place, we can peel this back. And really the most important part of this is this top part here and the sides. So make sure that you get your glue out to the sides and at the top there, and just do a little bit here and there. And I'm gonna smear that flat. I'm gonna try to. Okay, and I'm just gonna wrap that right along the top part here, just making sure that you kind of nudge it if you need to, to make sure that we're not obstructing the little holes for the little handle. Okay, so you're gonna repeat the same process on the other side as well. Okay, and make sure to do that. Just like that, that looks really nice. Everything is fitting together perfectly and beautifully. So again, just make sure that you fold this Okay, and you train it so that it curves. Just a nice light little train. You don't need to do much. And then you're gonna glue that part in the middle first, making sure that you have it aligned properly so that those little handle holes are not obscured. And get that glued just like we did. Okay, so what we can go ahead and do at this point, and I'm just kind of checking my work here because I see that this little panel here is kind of peeling up a little bit. So I'm gonna clean that up. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue and a razor blade, just a little tiny dip in there, and just shove that right under. And just push that down and hold it in place until it sits nice and flush. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna work on our little handle here. And I've got one of them already put in, put in place. Um, it's pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to take the tabs. I'm using AC cardstock here, so I got my texture side out. We're going to fold the tabs out as well. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. And what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on the smooth side 
and we're going to join these two pieces together back to back just like that just kind of make the texture on both sides thicken up the piece a little bit and just run your finger along the edge here make sure that you've got everything nice and lined up do not put glue on the actual tabs we're going to be using those to glue it to the inside of our box okay so once the two pieces are connected we're going to go ahead and put this little decorative panel on here okay and this panel is going to go right up to the score marks here okay so you want to get that right up to the score marks you can use the score marks as a guide to help you decide where to place it and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right on here. I'm going to smear that out just a tiny little bit so I don't make a mess. Okay, and again, just center it and push it up against that tab. All right, and then we're going to flip it over on the other side. And get that glued into place. <clears throat> So we've got our little handle nice and constructed here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these tabs and fold them flat now. And we're going to slide the tabs through the little holes here. Okay, and then we're going to glue them to the inside of our little, our little uh, planter here. Okay, so just get that in there as, as good as you can. When we actually glue this and it sticks, it's going to stay nicely. But you can see the little tabs there. Start with just one. Okay, put glue on both sides, and then you're going to take these flaps and spread them out, and then just kind of push. Okay, now you're looking at my side here that I didn't put the panels on, but your panels are going to be on there. And it's probably good that I did that, because otherwise I'd have had a gluey mess. Okay, so I just kind of spread those. Spread those tabs out and just kind of pushing on them there. And that's how that should look. Okay, and that's how that should look there. And then you can go ahead and put glue on both sides of these next two. I need to move that in a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to spread those out. Make sure that you've got it nice and in here. Okay, and just spread those out. You could probably do it with one finger or two. Those nice and spread. And just push. Probably use your thumb like that. Just kind of push. I'm holding it here, applying pressure on this side, and then also pushing from the inside, trying to have equal pressure on both sides there. Okay, there we go. And just like that. Next two, just spread those tabs out, push with your thumb. Okay, got a little bit of glue coming out there on the side, that's fine. Okay, those are in, and I can grab my little razor. Let's do a little damage control there before that really sets and looks too glossy. Okay, so there's our little, our little handles. Okay, so our box, the, the base of this is pretty much done. Okay, again, Yours is going to have that design on both sides. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm leaving that off. And what we can begin working on next is our little lid and our flower. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to take this shape here and we're just going to fold everything at the score marks. Okay. And we're going to glue these pieces together side by side here. You see this little tab here. I'm gonna put a little drop of glue on there, work that glue out to the edge, and just fold that down onto itself, or onto the neighboring piece, I should say. Okay, get that nice and in place. Okay, you can put that flat down on your table if you want to. It kind of really helps to to score these nicely and bend them, I should say. Make sure that 
you got them nice and bent. Okay, so then we can continue on here with this tab. Get a little bit of glue on there. And you know, um, you notice that these projects that I've been working on lately, all of the ones that I actually do in the videos are the ones that we shoot um, on the website. So these are the exact representations that you see on the site when we launch the products. And it is a little difficult sometimes for me to um, do this on camera because I kind of can't bring it up to my face as close as I would if I was really crafting on my own time, not on camera, yet these projects come out really good. And I think that's a testament to the design, um, Ron's design and Diana's uh, engineering of the final files here. Uh, everything just fits so nicely and precisely. And even though I can't really get my face up in there, things always come out pretty much perfect. So um, I guess what I'm saying is yours should look even better than mine because you can get your you can get your face all up in there. Okay, you can really see what you're doing. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so just getting that last little tab connected. And so what's gonna happen is um, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, how, how does that work? That's just going to slide right in there. Well, that's the point. And what's going to happen is once we get the top part of this, the little flower with the little lily pads, the lily pads are actually going to keep this thing from falling in. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to work on the little lily pads here. And the first thing we're going to do, and I'm just going to kind of show you just a, a, a quick example of what we're doing here is um, well, you don't have to do this, this is optional, but it does kind of look better if you do. The, uh, the lighter green, uh, we want to take and just kind of ink the edges on that just to kind of give it a little more interest. Now, I actually, the reason that this color that I'm doing right now is not the final colors because I was actually filming this. Well, I thought I was filming it but I didn't hit record on this part here. You can actually see the final version here, actually with the flower. So this is kind of skipping ahead here, so don't get confused. Um, but I ran out of this color, so I'm just using this as an example. Um, this dark green actually looks a lot better on the uh, darker green here. You can see it's very subtle, but it kind of adds a little more interest to it. So. It's completely optional, but I do recommend it because it'll just kind of um, take it to another level, another dimension. So I kind of I'm using my um, Tim Holtz uh, ink applicator pads. They work really nice, especially for little things like this, where your typical applicator won't get into those little crevices. I can kind of fold this and get it in there and, and get that ink on there how I want. So. I just went around the whole thing, um, just on the larger one, just to get a little bit of ink on there. And then what we want to do, and we're going to need our dowel here. Let me find my dowel. As you can see on the final one here, these leaves are not just flat, they're curved. When the light hits it, it gives it a little more interest, a little more depth, a uh, nice gradient, nice little shadows here and there. So what you want to do is just kind of hold these on top of each other. And you're gonna to have to go back and do this again later, but it's a good idea to, and you can have it actually flat on your table if you want. Um, take a 3 8 inch dowel and just kind of curl some of the edges just to kind of flare them up, okay, in some spots. Uh, maybe here on this side. Actually, yeah, so. Maybe like try to keep them together. It's not, they don't have to be perfectly together. Just try to keep them somewhat together and just kind of curl them, kind of flare them up a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing with these here in front. Just get those curled. We still have to glue this together. So it's not a big deal if it 
kind of goes flat and we will end up pushing this down and making it flat, but the little fibers in the paper will kind of remember what we did somewhat. And that's gonna help kind of keep everything together uh, once we get everything glued together. Okay, so let's just kind of curl these back. Okay, and let's take a look. And that just looks a lot cooler, a lot more free flowing, a lot more interesting. And kind of um, maybe even curl these here, pull this one up, maybe pull this one back a little bit, just like that. Just to change it up a little bit and make it a little interesting, okay? <clears throat> the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put this flat and we're gonna glue our vellum to the back of this piece. Now, you can actually go ahead and smush this you know, flat again. It's not gonna be completely flat, but it's gonna be somewhat flat and that's gonna help make this job a lot easier. So you wanna go ahead and get your glue down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Work that glue out. Uh, almost to the edge, not quite, and be kind of sparse with the glue. You don't want the paper to warp and get that glue in the center there. Maybe a few dots here and there, definitely here in the middle. Okay, and let's get our vellum into place. I'm just kind of, uh, just make sure that you got it nice and centered and just kind of scooch it around until it is nice and centered everywhere. So it's not hanging over the actual design. Okay, and just push that down. All right, give that <clears throat> a little bit of time to dry. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and glue this on top of this piece. Okay, so you can go ahead and just make sure that you don't put any glue on the cutout areas, okay? And again, I'm getting glue out to the perimeter here. I'm actually gonna take my finger and kind of spread that all the way out to the edge so we got a nice clean seam there when we put this on top of the other piece, okay? Just like that. So in the next step, don't be freaked out when this looks a little bit different as far as the colors go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab this and pop that right, actually here, I mentioned I was gonna kind of smear this out to the edge. I'm gonna do that before this sets. It's setting really quick for some reason. When this is on the vellum, it dries so much faster don't quite understand why, because it's not very porous. Anyway, okay. So we're gonna pop that right on top of this piece here, making sure that we're not obstructing any of the little cutouts. And then you can actually press this flat. You can use your little dowel if you want to help get that glue to stick. And if you have any areas where it's kind of lifting off, just go ahead and throw a little glue down, get your little spatula, or in my case, I like to use a little razor blade because it's literally razor thin, and I can get into tiny little areas where I maybe didn't get a really good connection here. Just slide that under, rub some glue under there, and then push down, and just hold it until it sets. Maybe just go around any areas that you're not happy with, okay? Uh, like here, I've got a little bit, got a little bit there that I'm not happy with. So I'm just gonna go in, stick my razor blade under there and get a little extra glue right under there. Wipe off that excess and push that down. And you just wanna hold it down for a few extra seconds while it holds, and you can see that it's a lot cleaner now. So, um, you do want to let this dry for about two or three minutes, make sure, maybe even longer, and then you can go back in and curl this stuff back, okay? Wait till the paper is nice and um, glued together before you go in and do this again. 
Okay, that way you don't risk anything coming apart. But there you go. That's what your, your little lily pad should look like. And you can see kind of what the final result looks like in, in this case here. So, okay, so we've got this piece all put together here. And we want to overlap this here and making sure that we're not obstructing any of the cutouts. And just kind of look right here. These are the two little areas where we don't want to put any glue. So just between these two petals here, okay? So these petals here, don't want to put any glue there, but we want to put glue pretty much everywhere else. Okay, so I'm going to work the perimeter first. And this, um, the actual lily pad is going to be hanging over this piece. So even if we have a little bit of glue that shoots out, that's okay. Get a little bit in there, a little bit in there. And let's line that up again nicely, making sure that we're not obstructing the little holes there, the cutouts. Okay, I'm gonna put that flat on my table, and just push down. Okay, there we go. And a little bit of, a little bit of excess glue shoot out in this area here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up. Okay. All right, so again, we're gonna train these a little bit more once this like really dries. Got a little glue disaster there. And so what that's gonna look like, this is gonna, it's gonna go right in there like this. And the little lily pads are gonna keep this thing from falling in. Okay, we're gonna top this off with a really beautiful flower to complete it, which I'll show you how to put together here in just a second. So let this really, really set. Um, and then we'll go ahead and start working on our little flower that we're gonna put right on top here in just a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and put together our lily. There are four pieces uh, minus the stamen, and then we have these two little pieces that help us create uh, the base and the top. And it's gonna go from largest to smallest, okay? And I've taken two, the two inner ones, and I've inked them with some yellow. And all I really did was, and I'll show you on this one here, just took my little applicator, just made sure I didn't have too much on there because I just wanted like a nice little gradient. So I worked some of it off and um, you can do it one of two ways. You can kind of bring it up like this. What I did because I just like the flow better is I just did little circular motions on each little petal to get that up there. Okay, and I'm just working up a little bit more here. I'm just kind of making it a little random. Okay, so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna start with the largest one first, okay? And that would be this one here. Just make sure, yep, okay. And you wanna go ahead and fold these in like that. Just make sure, there's actually no score lines there. And then you also wanna fold the little tabs here. We're gonna glue one side to the other, okay? So we're just gonna fold that like that. And what we're doing is just kind of gluing this to itself. This little half shape here is gonna get glued to the back of this just to kind of form one solid piece. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right on there. And we're gonna glue that right to itself. And that should sit perfectly. Okay, just get that right. Just make sure that the tabs line up. As long as the tabs line up, you know you're doing it right should overlap on top of on top of each other perfectly. Okay. All right. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount this to this little hexagon here. Okay. We're just going to glue that right onto that hexagon. And actually, you can put it inside. I don't see the harm in putting it inside. You're not going to see it once we glue this down. You're not even going to see that part anyway. So, and this is just going to help us maintain a nice form throughout. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this right in the center there, get it nice and centered, push down, let it set. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch some of these leaves here and then we're gonna take one and we're gonna 
curl it, curl it down. Okay, so get that in place. That's gonna be covered up, you know, so no big deal. If you've got ink on your fingers, might be a good time to grab a little bit of alcohol and get it off. Um, okay, so we've got that. Now what we wanna do is we wanna take one of these and train it down. That's gonna be our, it's gonna be the pedal that's front and center. Okay, so I'm taking my 3 8 inch dowel and I'm curling it down, okay, just like that. The rest of them, um, we're gonna actually pinch. So put your finger about an inch of the way in and just pinch it. Start off slow, but then really just pinch it. Okay, about an inch in, like that. Okay, so start off slow and then give it a good pinch, just like that. Just about an inch, pinch an inch. Okay, now this is like a like a glittery white paper, so it's kind of not pinching very well, but I think that looks great. Okay, so we'll grab our next piece here. Okay, and again, you want to fold at the score marks. We're gonna glue this inside the other one once we have it formed, okay? And with this one here, we're actually gonna pinch these more than an inch. We're gonna pinch them about halfway down. Okay, so let's get this folded over. And then just like we did before, we're gonna put a little bit of glue on this little, where another petal should be, but is not. And we're gonna glue that to itself, just making sure that these little tabs are nice and aligned to form our flower. Okay, and just hold that in place. Let that set. Okay, we can probably pinch these. Um, so take your finger, put it about halfway down each little petal and pinch. Just kind of fold it like that. Okay, so about halfway down, give it a good pinch. Like that. All right, halfway down. Give it a good pinch. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. It's actually kind of good if you give it a little bit of variation. Okay, there you go. Start off slow and then work up to the pinch. There we go. And when we put this in, we're gonna offset this so they're not all, so we're gonna put that like this, okay? Just like that. Actually kind of forces you to offset it just based on how it's designed. So I'm just gonna put just a little ring of glue on the outer edge of that, okay? And just follow the, follow the pattern there. There we go. Get that in place. Let that set, okay? So this is the one here. It's gonna be coming down. It's gonna be in the front like that on our little lily pad. Okay, and just kind of moving down the row here. I'm gonna grab the next biggest one, which is this one here, and folding the tabs. All right, so let's go ahead and get this Get this little guy glued here. I'm gonna just glue these two tabs together. Okay, this one's gonna have a little, little more resistance, so be very patient and allow this to really get a good grip before you move on. You can see the nice little gradient that we have going there, um, and that looks very much like a nice little lily. Okay, so hold that in place. And actually, while you're holding it, this one we're gonna pinch all the way down, all the way down to the score, okay? So just give it a good pinch so that there's a nice little line going all the way down, okay? Just like that. Work it all the way down pretty much. Stick your finger in there and give it a good pinch, just like that. Gonna work those fibers. OK, 
Okay, and again, it's okay if you don't get it right in the center. It's still gonna look really nice. Okay, get that nice and pinched. Perfect. All right, so again, this one's gonna go right in there, just like that. All right, so again, let's go ahead and put a little bit of glue right on that inner portion. Get that nice and lined up. It'll automatically offset itself so that it's not overlapping exactly as the layer before it. Okay, just kind of push and hold that into place. Okay, so last but not least, we've got one more here. Okay, and what we're gonna do is, let's get this glued in place here. We've got this little half petal, a little area here that's gonna go right behind this guy here. Okay, so just make sure that those bottom tabs line up nicely. Okay, and just hold that in place. Let it set. Okay, and I'm gonna train these out. And I'm gonna curl the tips in. You know, that's kind of, this paper's really thick. So be careful if you're using this sort of paper not to, not to bend it. So I'm, I'm pushing the petals out initially and then I'm just curling the tops up like this. Okay, again, I'm gonna maybe just pull these out a little bit more. Okay, and let's get that, let's get that one curled in a little bit more. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. That looks nice. Okay, so you can go ahead and put glue <clears throat> on that intersection there and pop this guy in here. You can always finesse these again later once you get everything in place, but let's just, let's just get them to sit nicely first before we do anything else. Okay, so there's our, there's our pretty little lily. Okay, now we've got this piece here that's gonna go inside to cover up all these tabs. So you can go ahead and put glue on that. Okay. probably want to actually ink that yellow. Probably should have done that before I put it in to keep it consistent with the rest of the uh, interiors of the flowers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean that up and get that little center part inked. You can probably, you should probably do this before you put that piece in, but this works too. It's not a big deal. We're gonna put some stamen in here to cover up the hole anyway, so probably won't see that too much, but I don't want little bits of white popping through there. Okay, so speaking of the stamen, here they are. Okay. And what we wanna do with these stamen, on the outside, we really want them to kind of have like a bell shape. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kinda of train them. Um, I'm gonna hold this down here. I'm gonna train all these together at the same time. Hopefully I won't rip any of them. Well, that was a close call. Okay, maybe that's not a good idea. Kind of give these a bell shape. I want them to kind of flare out. So you're gonna bend them out first, kind of almost fold them out and then train them back in towards the center and the tips. Okay, I wanna kind of give them like a bell shape. Here, let me let me bend them up against, there we go, like that. Okay, so kind of like that, and when we, when we roll it together, they'll be, kind of create like a, a little look like that, okay? And then these guys on the inside, um, they, they don't need to be as pronounced. We can just kind of curl the tips out a little bit, okay? So just to kind of, just like that, okay? And what we can do then is, I'm gonna glue these together like this, because we're gonna roll this up all at once. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right on the base of this. 
So I can just, I'm gonna stagger this a little bit so they're not all right on top of each other. Just like that. Okay, you see how one is kind of, uh, one's got a little bell thing going on, the other one's just kind of curled. And then I'm gonna take my dowel, okay, and I'm probably gonna use a, this is a quarter inch dowel. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and wrap it around my dowel as many times as I need to. And we can always finesse this again later after we get this all rolled up. Okay, so just roll it around your dowel and then take a little bit of glue at the end and glue it to itself. Okay, just hold that in place until it sets. Be very patient because it kind of wants to there's some resistance there. It's a lot of paper kind of wadded together. Okay, and now while I'm just holding it, I'm gonna work these lighter ones out, just like that. And then the inner ones are just kind of hanging out in there. There's a little bit of, a little bit of something going on there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue that right into the center, okay? So we can go ahead and just put a little bit of glue right around that hole. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and, and be very generous with the glue here and just place that in there so it's kind of drowning in it. Make sure you don't obstruct the hole because we want that light to be able to penetrate through there. Okay, and let that really set, okay? And then um, what we're gonna do while that's drying is we can come back to this and remember that training that we did can go back and make this a little bit more pronounced again. Again, these, the fibers and the paper, they are like, hey, that's familiar. And that's why it's not gonna peel away from itself. And then down here, we're gonna curl this down. We're gonna curl this down. And we're gonna curl this little part down as well. And don't worry about don't worry about that all too much. And then, uh, let's see, that's good, okay. Um, now remember this little one petal here that is coming down, that's gonna be the, t uh, actually, I'm sorry, this is the front here, okay. And what you're gonna do, once this is set, you're just gonna put glue on the bottom of this flower and glue it right into place, making sure that it's nice and centered, like that, with that little front little petal facing forward and you know what that is literally it and then you can just go ahead and put it right on top and you are all good stay on top of all things dreaming tree and engage with us today get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on facebook get inspired by following us on pinterest be the first to see our new product launches on instagram For Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.